Good day, folks. We're introducing a new tool to make your fiber processing even more enjoyable. Even though our brush attachment does a great job of pushing fibers in between the pins of the large drum, occasionally you want to really pack fiber into that drum, uh, especially if you're a felter, or if your fiber has lots of clumps and you need something to open them. Here's where our new burnishing brushes come in. They're available in two sizes. The small one is used where you want to selectively control uh, where you pack the fiber into the drum or if they're just occasional lumps that you need to smooth out. The larger one is great for uh, going over the entire drum as it's turning. Now Here's using the burnishing brush is really quite easy. You'll notice that the pins are in the same direction as the pins on the large drum. Using it, you're laying the brush on the drum, not pressing in. You just want to lightly kiss the drum so you press on the fiber and pushing it in. So your brush attachment can still be down and you're using the burnishing brush to push that fiber in. As you card more and more and layer more fiber on it and continue using the burnishing brush, you continuously press the fiber down. If you're looking, if you're looking to do the entire drum, use the large brush. And you can do the whole drum at one time. <clears throat> on the finest, where the pins are close together, the burnishing brush will make your bat a little thicker. It's on the mad batter where you really see the improvement. On the mad batter, because the pins are much further apart and deeper, you have the option or actually the ability of packing a heck of a lot more fiber onto that drum. So with the mad batter, you can see with the burnishing brush, I can just can constantly pack that fiber in and make a really, really, really thick bat. The Strouch burnishing brushes, they're a good thing.